Welcome back to another video. This weekend we are going to the Van Life Fest up in Shrewsbury. It's about a three hour drive and we met our Instagram friends on the way, Sam and Hannah with Cora the Caddy. We actually met over Instagram at the right start of Dobby's conversion. I reached out to Hannah to ask her some questions on the installation and then we've just spoke ever since. The journey was pretty smooth, there was no hold ups and the further we got the more the sun came out which was great. The event opened at 10 and we probably got there about quarter to, we headed straight to the gate and we got directed down. There was people that arrived Thursday night and they were in a holding area so we joined them and had a little wander, stretched our legs, used the loo and waited to get into the festival. <laughs> we got inside, directed to the area that we were camping, which is the general camping, set up our pitch and went for a wander. The event doesn't actually start until tomorrow, but so many of the businesses, the traders had already set up, so we wandered around those headed over to get a drink and just chilled out. Then we went over to the Field of Dreams. There were some absolutely incredible vans here, all different makes and models, sizes, so many different takes on van life, but it was incredible to just see what people had done. Most of these were all self builds chilli cheese fries and a boss dog for dinner. The boys had a little photo shoot. I found our van tails. These are YouTubers that I've followed since the start of Dobby. Then we just chilled and listened to the music. Callum and Sam saw their opportunity and took to the stage to entertain everyone with their dance moves.
your day been? Very good. You a bit burnt? A little bit burnt and a little bit drunk. But you've <laughs> had a good day. But a very good day. Ready for the festival to start tomorrow. It hasn't started yet. No, Saturday and Sunday. Crikey, what a bloody festival so far. <laughs> Night colour. <laughs> Nice early start on Saturday. I wandered over to the showers. Wasn't too much of a queue. This is what they look like inside. These ones just had a shower cubicle and the others had a toilet. Came back, cooked some breakfast and we went for another wander. Went around the stalls. There was some new traders that had turned up on Saturday morning. So we had a look around those. We headed back over to the Field of Dreams and had another look at all of the different vans. The boys then were hungry, so they went over to this beef roll stall. It was absolutely insane. Look at this bit of meat that's roasting on the fire. I think they said it takes about three days to cook. And then this fire pit essentially just keeps it warm. And then over to the live lounge tent. I made friends with this little doggy Bert who was obsessed with his ball being thrown. We then wandered down to the little beach area. This was part of the river that they'd made access to. There was loads of people hiring canoes and paddle boards and it was really, really busy down there, but it was lovely. It was a nice place for the dogs to cool off as it was so hot this weekend. This little bit of camping was a area dedicated to old Mercedes vans. Some of them were really, really cool. We actually went inside one of them and took a look. It was for sale and we definitely would sell our home for this van. This was an area of all of the old caravans. Some of them were really small. They were all really quirky. All of them had the same little awnings, which were really pretty. We wandered about there for a little bit and just having a nose.
boys then cooked us up a really nice barbecue for dinner and it was back to the music for the evening. two dogs from the crowd that the guys took up on the stage and they were loving it. As I mentioned earlier about finding our van Tails' van, I then went over and took a picture with the lovely Lindsay and Andy. It made my festival meeting them, they're such nice people. Cheer. We've come to the end of this one. It's been beautiful. I can't hear you. Can't hear it. What? Can't hear it. Very quiet, isn't it, lads? Um, just to let you know that after. We wandered back to the van via the lit up cars, which were really cool. This is one of the ones that we saw earlier in the video and this camper and then went past the Ferris wheel. Boys went back to the beef stall and had a late night snack and most of the beef was actually gone. We sat out for a little bit back at camp with the candle burning and Cal had a couple more drinks and we just chilled for the evening. I was the first to wake up, so I just sat outside for a little bit and waited for the others. We then went over to the acoustic tent again, the live lounge, had a couple of drinks and just chilled out. It was so hot again, it was nice to just do nothing really. As the afternoon went on, I went and ventured into the water. So nice to go for a swim, really refreshing. I actually got really burnt this weekend, so it was lovely to cool off. The others just watched. <laughs> Earlier in the festival, we actually spotted the mushroom man and we wanted to have a go at making these. So we walked over, me and Callum did one together and Sam did one also. You basically start with this piece of wood and you have to sand it down into a mushroom shape. Then go back and the guy dips it and adds some uh, metal copper wires and a little base. This was the finished product. And there's Hannah and Sam's. Back for a walk one last time around the festival and then back to the vans and it was time to go home. 
We could have stayed till Monday, but there were so many people that were going to be leaving, so we headed off early, drove back, and the sunset was setting behind us. It was so nice. It was time to say goodbye, so we waved the others off as they headed off in their direction, and we went ours. We really did have the most incredible time at Van Life Fest this weekend. We cannot wait to book for next year. Hope this video has been enjoyable and we'll see you for the next one. Thank you.